Hey guys, it's Courtney. Welcome to my channel. I feel like I haven't filmed in forever, so forgive me if I'm a little rusty. I literally just got back from vacation about an hour ago, and I really need to get a video up. And I also need to update you on my Finish 13 by Halloween challenge, because I told you guys I would update you guys every two weeks. And I actually filmed that video on July 4th, and I posted it, on I think, on the 12th. So it's been quite some time since that video was up and I think it's just a little bit over two weeks but I had filmed it on the 4th so I made a ton of progress since then so you probably won't see as much progress between my next updates just because I had some extra time for this one but I'm excited to show you regardless and I'm really proud of my progress this time. So surprisingly I actually finished up three items so the first thing I finished was the Model Co Volume Eyes Mascara and I thought this was the full size but it's actually I think like the half size one. I looked up the price of this online and the full size is like $22 and I had no idea that Model Co was a high end brand so this was actually a very nice mascara but I decided to call it quits because it was just flaking horribly on my under eye area and I don't like that look so I decided to call it quits but here is a look at the brush in case you haven't seen it before because I don't think this is a brand that's readily available in the US. I could be wrong though but this is what it looks like. And it is a natural bristle brush. I really like this mascara. I just wish it didn't dry out so fast. I think I've been using this for like a month and a half, two months, something like that. But I'm happy to get another mascara out of the way. I finished up my Spashbox Photo Finish Primer, and this is just a deluxe size sample. So in the intro, I was right here. As you can see right there, sorry if the line is faded, I just pulled this out of my makeup bag and I finished all that product down there. This was a fine primer, but I'm not really interested in purchasing it. I think it doesn't really smell that good. I prefer the Professional as a high-end primer, but I don't think I'd even pick that one up just because I think that you can find a primer at the drugstore. But I liked this, I just don't think I'd repurchase it. And then finally for my current Project Pan Empties, I finished off this Benefit Stay Don't Stray eyeshadow primer and I really liked this. I just don't think I'd purchase it because I have two other eye primers to go through and I want to see if the e.l.f. one still works for me. So this was absolutely awesome and it worked really well to prime my eyes. It gave a little bit of coverage to cancel out some veins but I, like I said I just don't think I'd purchase this. So that's everything for empties, so now I'm going to go into the products that I still have. So I guess I'll start off with eye type products, and this one I can't really show you the progress on because if I twist it up, then I won't be able to twist it back down. But my Maybelline Define a Brow Pencil is still going. I'll just put up a little bit. It has a very fine tip, and I am okay with using this. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. It's just kind of an extra step for my eyebrows, which is kind of annoying, but I want to see if I can use this up. So... Still using it every day for the most part. I might have missed one or two days, but I've been pretty good about wearing this. And for certain products, I will insert pictures of the products that I can't really mark. So I'll post the picture from my intro video for my Urban Decay Black Velvet Pencil now. And this is what it currently looks like. Look how tiny it is now. So before it was about maybe half an inch to an inch past the 24-7 mark and I actually used up the 24-7 part and then some so I probably used up about that much. Granted it has been about three weeks or so so I did make a decent amount of progress and I try not to sharpen this all the time but sometimes I have to because the product just gets so dry and little parts of it will flake into my eyes like I was having issues with it this morning trying to put makeup on and it's just an okay pencil. I would never purchase it, but I'm really happy with the progress on this one, and I think I will be done with it by the next update. Sorry if I wasn't straight before. I think I am now, and now I'm going to go on to my ColourPop eyeshadow, so I'll insert a pic from the intro video now. And this is what the eyeshadow currently looks like. I'm really happy with the progress on this one. I'm hoping I can use this up in like a month. So you can tell that ColourPop eyeshadows do not have a lot of product in them at all. In my previous picture, as you could see, there was only a little bit of pan showing, and this is from three weeks of use, and actually I didn't re even really use this every single day. I used it 
maybe three times a week and it got a lot of views this week because I was also doing my sister's makeup and I tried it on her and it actually did crease on her lids a little bit. I don't love this eyeshadow. I thought I was starting to like it, but honestly, I'm not really impressed. I will show you what it looks like as a swatch and on my finger. So that's what it looks like on my finger. It's just a nice, pretty champagne shade. It's not my absolute favorite, like I said, but it does swatch nicely and it looks okay on your eyes. I think I might have been more impressed with a ultra metallic shade from ColourPop. This one didn't really impress me too much at all, but I just don't think I will purchase from them again. And the writing on this actually got rubbed off, so that's a bummer, but granted it was traveling with me for a long time and I was using it a lot, so oh well. But that's my progress on the ColourPop eyeshadow and plunge. Now I will move on to my Benefit What's Up highlighter and this is just a deluxe size sample and I made a ton of progress on it so this is what the little nub looks like and I think I used up about half of the product so it was about right here but I'll compare it next to the cap so that's my little nub of the What's Up highlighter right now and it's just a gorgeous highlighter I really enjoy using this as an eye base and also as a highlighter before I put on foundation this is a swatch of it right here, the skinny swatch, and it's just really, really pretty. I really enjoy using it. Sometimes it can show up a little bit, like, kind of shimmery with like, a touch of little glitters on my cheeks, but it's really not glittery. I don't know. Sometimes it just looks like that, but it's a gorgeous highlighter. Very, very intense, but it looks great under foundation and also over foundation if you're a little bit darker than me. So that's my progress I made on it, if you can see right there. So I did use up a ton of product, and... Hopefully this will be gone within a month because I want to try to use other highlighters more. And it's just really pretty. It's just an extra step because I put it on before I even apply my foundation. So this is going pretty quickly. Now onto my color tattoo in nude pink. So I'll insert the picture of that from the intro video now. And this is my current progress on it. I'm pretty happy about it. And as you can see, the sides are getting a bit thinner. And I forget what side I was focusing on. I was focusing on one side and then I just forgot about it. But as you can see, the sides are definitely getting thinner. And I'm using up more product up there. So hopefully I will hit the edge by my next update. But we'll see. I can just definitely tell that the pan is really expanded. And even if you look in the back, you can see a lot of it is gone. So... I really enjoy this product. Here is a swatch of it. It is the matte color and it's kind of on the purpley side but it blends into my eyes really really nicely. It does look a little bit dark on the lid but once you blend it out it just looks like it has a little pinky tinge. It's slightly darker and more pink than Painterly Paint Pot from MAC but I will be repurchasing that one after I use this up. I just wanted to start focusing on this but I absolutely love this and I really enjoy using it and I'm also really happy about the progress. And I think everything that's left is lip products, so I will be showing you my Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie Gloss and Rule Breaker, and look at that awesome progress. I'm so happy about it. I've been trying to reapply this gloss like crazy, so I started with it up at that line, and now it is currently down here, so... Not quite half the lip gloss gone yet, but pretty close. So I think I can probably make it about down here by my next update. We'll see. And I'm really happy about this. Maybe this will be gone in like a month or so. And I just realized I'm not wearing any lipsticks, so I'm going to put on my little NARS pencil really quick. Speaking of that NARS pencil, I will insert the picture from the intro video now. This is what it currently looks like. Look how tiny it is. I'm so happy. I really enjoy this lip color. Here is a swatch of it right here. It is a kind of a glossy finish. It looks like it has shimmer in it, but it's not really shimmery on the lips. It just kind of gives a nice finish to your lips, and I think it's perfect for work, and I applied this so much when I was on vacation. I just put some on now, as you can tell, and it just looks really pretty and natural. So I think the pencil was like up here, so I did sharpen it a lot and it was getting a lot of use because I was reapplying it constantly. So I'm really happy with the progress on this. Next is my Maybelline Lipstick in Lust for Blush. It is in the Creamy Matte formula and this is what the lipstick currently looks like. I absolutely love this lipstick. It is such a beautiful color. It kind of has a purpley tinge to your lip, but it just looks pretty wearable for being a matte lip color. 
that's what the color looks like it's really pretty and I did use this a little bit not a whole lot because I was really focused on the NARS one but I still made considerable progress considering you really don't need to apply much of this so that's about where it is now you can tell right there I love this lip color it's really pretty it's great for nights out I don't really wear it to work all that much because I find that I would have to reapply it later and my lips will just not really get dried but I really like having something on my lips at all times and I just really like this I'll see if I can wear it to work more this week because that NARS pencil is probably going to be done soon so I'm really happy with how I'm doing on this color because I just haven't been paying attention much to it because I've been so focused on the NARS one and I think that progress is still pretty good. And lastly are my two lip balms and here is my Vaseline Creme Brulee Lip Therapy and it looks probably about the same. I'm pretty close to actually hitting the pan on it so it does look a lot lower and you can kind of see where the pan is almost hitting right there. I'll probably hit it in a couple days or so or a couple more uses. And I like this lip balm a lot. It's not my favorite pot lip balm. I really miss my Nivea lip butters. And I'm just trying to work through this. So I've been trying to wear this a little bit. But I've been really focused on my next lip balm. And that lip balm is the Chapstick Cake Batter Scent. And I will insert a picture from the intro video now. And that's what this one currently looks like. It is almost gone. Maybe I can have this finished by my next update so i did use about maybe that much of it so i was applying this like crazy morning day night whatever i was applying it on the beach a lot because it's just really easy i think this smells like rice krispie treats so if you like the smell of that definitely check this lip balm out and i think the chapsticks work fine so that is everything those are all my products that i'm trying to work on for my finished 13 by halloween challenge hopefully i will have this up by wednesday the 29th i think so I can kind of be on track for my updates. I know it was a little bit off. My next update will be in two weeks. So I'm pretty excited to work on more of my products and try to make more progress for you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know if you're doing the Finish 13 by Halloween challenge or any Project Pan videos. I would love to watch them. I love you guys and I'll see you all in my next video. Talk to you later. Bye.